The bees are constantly dying all winter, and so I'm just noticing that they've been taking some of the dead bees out from the bottom of the hive through the entrance reducer. After they get them out of the hive, they drag them out to like a little graveyard. This is the bee graveyard, I'm calling it, where they're just putting the dead bees out on the ground in front of the hive.
T. McDee's Bees, and today is Monday, March 16th. It's about 55 degrees, it's the first warm day, and the bees are obviously happy to be flying again. I'm going to check to see how they're eating the pollen patty that I put in on Friday. Today is Monday. I decided not to spray them with the smoke because they, they're just eating, and I want to just lift this up. And it's interesting that you can see how they were eating through the spaces between the frames. So I think if you check your pollen patty, don't tear it all apart like this because I'm not exactly sure how to put it back together. I'll just set it down there, see what happens. The last time I checked, it didn't seem like I had this many bees. There was just a small group in a circle, you know, in the frames right here. It was a strong hive to start out with in the fall. If everything goes right, with the weather in Minnesota, which can be pretty unpredictable until trees start budding, we should do okay. We'll put the uh, this board on. And let's see. Try not to squish some of these little girls. It's impossible. If you're a first-year beekeeper, I advise you not to put it right next to a big tree because I was told after I had this all set up that it's probably not a good idea. And I'm going to put this vapor board in here, moisture board, in case we do get some more freezing and thawing. It helps absorb their body heat, body sweat. And one more tip if you're a new beekeeper. It's probably a good idea to put your hive on a flat surface. Have a great day.